11 o'clock and joining us in studio this morning, Pastor Jim Ridgeway back with us. Morning, Pastor. How you doing today? Good morning, Mike. You doing all right? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Man, if you got any better, I wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some days you got that day, you just got to say Jesus, and you got to say Jesus more frequently, more louder, exactly. and to more people. I was like, yeah. And, and generally, the, the closer you get to big events like the one we're about to, to talk about here, the more you're, you're like, all right, Jesus, we need a little, we need a little, little help here. <laughs> I, I, I know you're here. <laughs> But, uh, of course, if for folks not familiar, uh, Pastor uh, Ridgeway here, he is uh, one of the people responsible for uh, the uh, the gig, the church you uh, that you may come out to on uh, Fridays on the Chavez County Courthouse yes, lawn and, and, uh, and come out and enjoy fellowship and, and praise and worship and food a lot of times and things like that. Yes, well, uh, if, if you've seen that, come out like on a first Friday or, or any Friday, really, out on the, the courthouse lawn, um, well... We invite you, and even if you don't, haven't heard of it, we still invite you to uh, spend uh, some time with us on Thanksgiving. Uh, awesome. Once again, uh, the gig, the, the, they're going to be uh, doing uh, uh, not only uh, uh, food, but, you know, praise and worship and everything here. So we're going we're gonna to have a good old, uh, you know, Thanksgiving celebration on the courthouse lawn here, Thanksgiving Day, and all who, uh, who are hungry and who could... Who would love to be a part of it? You're invited to come and join us. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. that's basically it. Is just a Thanksgiving meal, some time and fellowship and things together, and celebrate the and be thankful for the things that 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 God has blessed us with. And, and that's all we're doing on on Thanksgiving. Yes, sir. Yeah, we've we've been we've been kind of putting this together and stuff. Uh, several of the different pastors in town, uh, Dexter Cowboy Church, Jackie down there, uh, Lawrence uh, from Hope Center, yeah, just a bunch of the different church mm-hmm. pastors and stuff are you know, helping out and stuff, and they're going to come down and, and bring a word, you know. We've got a couple of praise and worship teams coming out and stuff. And this event mostly, you know, the, the big deal is a lot of people just don't have somewhere to be, okay? And it's a good place they can come and fellowship and, you know, just be around people and stuff Absolutely. like that. Come down and see, you know, it, it it's amazing to me, you know, when you do an event like this, people come down and say, gosh, I'm glad I came. I hadn't seen that person in 18 years or whatever, you know what it's I mean? It's as much as a, yeah. uh, a family reunion in, of sorts as it is, yeah. uh, you know, Thanksgiving. Yeah, and, and old old friends <laughs> sure. and stuff like that. You know, I haven't seen him since I got out of prison, you know, <laughs> whatever. Exactly, you know yeah. What I mean? yeah. And stuff, and, and uh, like I said, it's just it's just an op- it's an opportunity for us to give back to the city. Some, you know what I mean. And and again, we thank Roswell and the and the citizens here. You know, everybody here, uh, you know, is always so generous and stuff like that. Well, I mean, you guys can't do what you do without the generous support of uh, people, businesses, uh, just uh, the community in large. Right. Know? And and when you do an event like this, you need it's it's not just it's it's it, 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 it's the getting stuff. Okay, and then what do you do with it until you give it away? You know, it's like yeah, super, it's got to sit somewhere. It's got to store somewhere. Yeah, like super meat market. You know, uh, uh, Javier down there, he's been super. You know, he uh, he does a lot he, for the community he, and stuff too. When he, yeah, and he said, you know, my freezers, my storeroom, everything's available. You know what I mean, and stuff. And and uh, so yeah, we've had a lot of help. You know, like I said, the logistics of everything. Sure. Is, and especially doing this. Okay, no one's ever done court the Thanksgiving dinner on the courthouse lawn. And so, you know, we're setting up tables, chairs. It's a very public place where people will probably find it on Thanksgiving Day, just happen to see a bunch of people gathering on the courthouse lawns. What's going on over there? And kind of mosey on over. That's well, the idea anyway. Yeah. Year before last, we did, uh, or last year, we did uh, about 120 dinners from the sidewalk. Oh, wow. We had all dinners all made up and stuff like that. And we just stood out there with a sign that says, Honk, if you love Jesus, free Thanksgiving dinners. Oh, wow. You know? And we had people, you know, just, I mean, everything from people in Mercedes from, you know what I mean? All to, walks of to, life. To, to the yeah, homeless. Yeah. Okay, you know, you're, can I get a dinner? Yeah. We're c- traveling from Colorado. We're traveling from Texas. And we don't, you know, so get out, let's pray. Sure. You know, well, so. I mean, how many, how, well, that's, that's just it too, is, is how many people uh, don't have plans or plans fall through or, or, you know, life is, is, is dealt them a few blows here and they're, right. and, and they're having a little, and, and it always seems to happen at, at these more stressful times like the holidays can be. And so for, for I'm sure those people uh, at that particular day, you were a, a gift from God uh, at, a, at the right moment, at the right time kind of thing, you know? Yeah, we hope so. And, <laughs> and, and you know, and, and, and we, we're going to have a, a, a set of a part-time, okay, for uh, we do open mic anyway, you know what I mean? But um, 
you know, during the day tomorrow or Thursday, rather, you know, um, we'll ask people, you know, if, if, if you've got something that you're thankful for, mm -hmm. get up here and share. Sure. You know, if you have a story, what's God done in your life this year? Let's or, inspire you know, each other with our own stories and messages. And, yeah, that's and, exactly and, right. And, and experiences. Yeah. yeah, we're doing a wedding on Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is uh, this popped up on the radar here uh, relatively uh, uh, shortly ago. Yeah. And uh, how cool is this where uh, not only can we give thanks but celebrate a union as well, too. And so, so uh, yeah. So uh, they're going to have a heck of a reception. They're going to oh. have a bunch of people on the courthouse lawn <laughs> celebrate thanks and then celebrating the, their union. So yeah, that's well, great. I actually got married on the courthouse lawn the first night of the first gig 13 years oh, ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's a little full circle moment for yeah, you, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely great. That's yeah, cool. So. Well, you and your wife should do it together as uh, to, to perform the ceremony as a kind of a homage to your own marriage, we're, I think. We're, we're all over it. <laughs> That's great. We're all over it, like love I said. It, love it, love it. And, and again, and we have, uh, we're going to have meals to go to. Excellent. Okay, so if, you, if somebody wants to come by and get a meal, you don't have to. You don't have to. There, I don't have any requirements for anything. Sure. Just, well, just I mean, come. well, and and let's yeah. face it, our you know our homeless population, uh, you know they, you know some of them want to be there, and some of you know because of you know mental health things like that. But point is, my point is, they don't want to be hanging around people or talking. So if they're like that, it's like here, here's your meal. Go, go and and do you. But I want to make sure you have a meal today. Here, yeah. hear that. Have yeah, that. I had I had somebody call me uh, a few days ago, and they said, and and it was it was a, a, a story was being done and stuff like that. And they said, no, so this is a meal for the homeless. I said, the homeless are welcome, of course, sure, but this isn't just for the it's homeless. It's a meal this for people for with everybody. mouths and stomachs. Yeah, this, this is for everyone. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're we're cooking plenty of turkeys. We got plenty of pies. You know. Yeah. Um. You know, we're just, like it's, saying, it's a reminder that we're all all children of God. And Ab we're all brothers and sisters. Absolutely. We all share the same planet. Let's all be of thanks together. Who cares where you're from? Who cares how much you got? Who cares how much you don't got? We don't care. All we care about is today. We're celebrating what what humanity and God and, and Thanksgiving. There you go. Yeah. And like I said, we're, we're, we're expecting, a, you know, a big crowd and stuff like that. The weather keeps flipping and flopping. On yeah, the mic, it, it, it's good. It's messing around with us here. I thought it was going to be nice, and now it's not looking... Looking as warm as, as need be, so. Uh, you know, at, at 47 degree on the thermostat has nothing to do with how it feels with the sun coming through and sure. stuff like that. It's no, all about no, the no. wind, and the, the, yeah, the wind is going to be the killer. If it's And it's supposed to be a little breezy, I think, for the afternoon. Yeah, and, it's, and, and again, you know, we, we do the gig down there and stuff. We start in, you know, or in May and stuff like that. And so, you know, it, and it's May. People don't care. Yeah. They come down to hear the word of God and to be in the presence. They get warmed you know I mean? by the, so, the, the environment when they're there. Yeah, there's some, there's yeah. plenty of love to go around to, to warm everybody's hearts. Yes, sir. So. Yes, sir. And and again, we're doing shut-ins, too. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the Salvation okay, Army so, is Okay, so doing, some deliveries to, yeah. to shut-ins and things as well. Yeah, awesome. the Salvation Army is doing a great big deal, you know, early Thursday morning and stuff like that. And if they've missed somebody, you know, we want to be sure. You're to, the kind of catching the, the yeah. back end and, yeah, and yeah, or picking up slack here. Right. Awesome. Great yeah. deal. How about volunteers and things? I know. Uh, I know you have a great group, but uh, could you always use more people to help you we on uh, Thursday? We can always use some volunteers, and even if you know if they come down and serve for five minutes, twenty minutes, something like that, bring the kids down for a minute, just let I love them that. get involved for just a minute. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, no one's too young and no one's too old. I think uh, one of the things I love, and and uh, now granted, I, I don't have kids, so I'm being a bit hypocritical here. But if I had some, uh, I know. Um, one of the things I think I want to do, especially in the world we live in today, is make sure those kids appreciate what what blessings they have, and to right. do that, and to showing how important it is to serve others. And 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 I, there's never a better way that I can think of is on days like Thanksgiving or, or really any day, but going and serving at a place like this, coming and helping and, and serving people <clears throat> the food or helping to set up the event. It it, it it, it I, I've know so many kids that kind of didn't realize how good they got it till they serve or or work at an event like this and see kind of uh, a, the other side lives a little bit. It's an eye opener. It's for a kids reminder. And like it. It, it's an eye opener for us. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's it's you know. Yeah. It, it's it's to me it's one of those things. It's sad and you 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 wish no one had to, but I also am. There's a bit of a, an inspiration, too, and what I mean by that is is look at what this person's going through and they're surviving and doing well. How, you know, how 
great is the America, the human spirit where you can kind of see that mm-hmm. no matter how odds, no matter what obstacles you throw at humans, we, we find a way to, to survive, to live, to, to do our thing. And so, so I, there's evidence of that too. And so it, right. it's inspiring and, and heartbreaking at the same time. So, um, uh, it's just something that I think kids should, should be exposed to obviously at appropriate age, but, uh, something because we don't, the only way we make the next generation of servants is by showing them the way young. And if we don't give them that information now, when we're gone, they don't have that, that tutelage or that work around to, to, to keep going. Yeah. The word says, teach your children the way shades should go. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's, and that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Uh, and like I said, it's an opportunity for people just to get together and stuff like that, help one another and stuff, you know, and the homeless, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing to me. Everybody's like, you know, freaked out about the homeless and stuff like that. You know, I, they're never rude, anything like that. They come down, you know, they'll come down to the hot, to the gig and grab a hamburger or a hot dog, something sure. like that. They're grateful. They sit there and listen for a little bit, and they leave. And, and I've got people say, well, why don't you serve after the service so everybody has to sit here? <laughs> I said, because that's not what I do. Yeah. And that's not God, what God would have me sure. do. You know what I mean? It's people are God hungry. gave you free will. And, uh, and, and, and why? I always... People always say that. I'm like, God gave us free will. At the end of the day, it's your choice to do these things. Yeah. You know? And people will come and grab a hamburger, you know what I mean? They'll leave and they'll say, well, they should have stayed. Let me tell you something. While they walked up here, they heard the word of God. While they were getting their food, they heard the word of God. And while they were leaving, they... So, and it is a sprint, not a marathon. That's okay. It. You, they just came for a burger today. Maybe next time they're going to come for a burger. But one of these days, they're going to stick around a little longer. You know, life, things yeah. in their life are going to happen. And they're, you know, hopefully it inspires them to hang out after the hamburger one day. It's, it's all about some, yeah. especially when it, I'm thinking in the homeless community, that's part of establishing relationships. You're not like if you go in there trying to crowbar your message down their throat as soon as you see them, right. you're, you're going to get a lot of resistance. But just hanging out, being a friend, here's a sandwich. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, uh, how you doing today? You need a blanket? Here's a blanket. I'll see you tomorrow. There and at some point, they're going to build a trust. They're going to build an establishment, and then they're going to want to listen to you because now they trust you a little bit more. That's it's all about humanity and how it is. You, when someone comes in yelling at you, are you more receptive to that than someone who's being a little more human to you? Yeah. And and that it's that's how humans work. <laughs> and that's, yeah, and that's kind of what we're and, and we're hoping for on Thanksgiving Day. You know that we'll be able to bring a little bit of hope and, and just mm-hmm. be able to show some love. You know what I mean? That, that Christ has shown us. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that you know people just have you know they get it a little bit, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And we might even win a few to Christ. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's the And job. if one person win, it, it does, then you won. It, then then the, the the bunch of hours, all the Thanksgiving, all the things that worked that went into this was worth it if one person Absolutely. found God uh, on Thursday. You yeah, know, that's, it, and that's that's our hope. You know, I tell everybody, I said, you know, this this whole deal is just bait. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's to get people to come sure. down so that they can hear the Word of God. You know what I mean from different from different pastors, different denominations, absolutely from different individuals. Sure, it's amazing. You'll sit there and go, "Why aren't Why aren't you a minister? Why aren't you?" Well, I don't. know. Well, you just did deliver a message. Don't you know? Right. What I mean? You know, and absolutely. Stuff, you know? Well, and and you think about it. You you look at Jesus, and uh, he didn't necessarily preach from a building every Sunday. You know, he was out and doing his thing, and that's kind of. You know, this is kind of the the ministry you're doing here with this kind of stuff. You're going to the people. You're going to where where the folks are. And uh, if 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 you have to bring if you have to make people come to you, they're 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 going to be a little apprehensive. Where you're like, hey, I'm here with a bunch of bunch of uh, gifts and and fellowship. Come hang out with us. And you know that's and, and you go to where people and that's. And, and where people that don't necessarily want to come to these places are going to feel more comfortable in a place that's more public, but something they could go away if they if they're like, all right, too much, I can walk away. Yeah. And and it's just it's it's just a way to bring in more people through a, a a less traditional method, I guess you could say. Yeah, and and that's the needle about the courthouse lawn. That's absolutely completely neutral ground. Sure. Okay, and during and we've learned it during the gig. We have Catholics hanging out and hugging Baptists and. Oh yeah, know, and on and on and on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and, God's and, creatures are God's creatures. Don't care I mean? what denomination and, you are, you know. Stuff. And you can't get a Baptist to go to a Catholic church, and you can't get a Pentecostal to go to a Methodist church, and on and on and on. But they all come down to the gig, and nobody knows who everybody sure. is. Okay, they're just they're one family and one body. 
you know, loving on God. Well, and that's just it. It's the, the uh, it's, I think you realize there's more in common than different. Uh, you know, at the hey, end of the day, y'all are celebrating the same end game here. God, come on, come on preach it, Mike. You, you know, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the semantics and the details, yeah. you know, which who begat this and where and what, and you know, which way you hold the cup and all that other stuff that that's semantics. Uh, I'm not smart enough to follow all that. I'm sorry. I well, each <laughs> each religion has their traditions and things, and 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 great. God bless it. But you know, it, it's it. You know, if you if you did kneel right or whatever, that's not your ticket into God into no. heaven. That's just not it. it. It's just believing in God and understanding that Jesus died for our sins, and that was our that was our penance. Jesus paid for it. Um, at this point, we just got to live as close to, you know, how God wants us to live, be good, be good human beings, help each other and do these things and believe in God. And that's it. It ain't rocket science. Yeah, that's all you got to do. It doesn't, you don't have to change the world with your amazing brain or your amazing skill set of running or whatever it is that, that gifts that God blessed you. It's just being a good human being and believing in God. That's all there is to it. There it is. Being good to your fellow humans and 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 believing. Yeah, and that's and 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 we're we're believing God for this Thanksgiving event and stuff like that. You know, this is bigger than us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean and stuff. So we know it's Him. You yeah. know what I mean. And and like I said, it's just it's just a wonderful opportunity to bring the city together and stuff like that. And and. Um, just have like like we're saying, just have a good fellowship, have Absolutely. a good time together, and everything. You know, uh, grab some food. You know, and if, and take some food with you. You know what I mean. Take some food to your neighbors. Sure. You know what I mean. Like I said, yeah. If you got some shut ins that that aren't on on the pastors list here, please reach out and and uh, we'll be happy to give you meals yeah, to take yeah, to if, those you, if you know somebody, okay, take take one with you. You know, yeah. what I mean? we're not you know we're not worried about it. Yeah, this know, isn't so. about you know. The, I mean, it's about the meals we wanted, you know, that's mm -hmm. the, the carrot we're dangling here. But at the end of the day, we just want you to come and, 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 and see the blessings that God has and, and what God can do for you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Um, uh, the, de the details on all this, uh, you guys will be out there from 11 to 2 uh, on Thursday. Right. Um, so uh, if, you, if you're hungry and things, about 11 is when everything's going to be start gathering. I imagine there'll be a gathering of people and crowds but way before we'll, that, but we'll, at about 10, everything will start serving. Yeah, we're going to start setting up about 8.30 and stuff like that, set up the sound system, PA system, uh, set up all the chairs and tables and the and the, the, the hot plates and the grills. And gotcha. Like I said, the logistics of this sure. is like, you know. Yeah, yeah, you forget it's it's just a patch of grass out there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, uh, is there even power? Do you have to bring in, like, light towers and we've, stuff to get some got, power? We have generators and okay. stuff. We have power there also, but we also bring a generator because you never know if a breaker is going to flip. Well, and anytime <laughs> cooking griddles, uh, that, that, that sucks up juice. Yeah. A lot more than people realize that short right. of an air conditioner, those kind of things are probably, I just know from our remotes and things, you plug in an air conditioner and they're generating next thing, you know, all your juice is gone. But uh, those cookers and, and uh, things well, can add up. We're to bringing that too. electric, we're bringing, you know, propane grills and, and hot Yeah, those will help. But those electric plates, skillets and, and like things, that. those will suck up some We're juice. bringing microwaves so that, you know, the dinners that are going out. We put them in the microwave for just a few minutes so that when it hits that house, they're going to have a hot meal. Oh, nice. You know, so. <laughs> Dang, you guys. What's that? You're going to have a, a cloth to waiter to deliver it? <laughs> I, I'm not sure we're going to get that far. But, but, but we are going to. We have we have a group of servers coming and stuff like that. The uh, Dexter uh, High School uh, uh, Student Council. Oh, the Student Council is going to be helping yeah, they, out. Oh, cool. They called and said they wanted to come down and stuff like that. I love that. And they said, you know, we've got a community project we need to do. I said, are you coming for the project or from your heart? She said, no, we're coming from our heart. I said, we'll sign off. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> we'll, well, we'll, get, we'll get you the credit. Don't worry. Whether how it starts one way or another, it's going to end up with your heart. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, you know, but it, I love that. I love it, that the kids want to get involved. It, 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 you know, when you get in the presence of God, it just, you know, it overtakes you. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, and, and here's, the, here's the point. Here's the thing that we don't know is is sitting in that group of kids is the next pastor ridgeway the next uh you know mayors and leaders and community um people that's they're the ones that are gonna have to pick up this baton when when we're all too old and grizzled to do it so. we never know who we're talking to and what it's and 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 the seed that you plant how absolutely you know what i mean and that's that's what it's all about like you know is planting that seed for the next generation and stuff like that and the older you get i think the more you realize that like in your wisdom of life you know they say we gain wisdom as we gain and and i i believe that and it's true other days i question whether my wisdom will work but anyway uh you know we do that and 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 the older i've gotten the more i 
that kind of that layer has pulled back and saying, oh, you know, you, you seeing the forest from the trees when you're young. Yeah, it's kind of hard, but <laughs> yeah, I, I, duh. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, you remember the old commercials when the guy slaps himself in the forehead says, "I could have had a V8." Yeah, I, <laughs> I could have just all I had to do was this. Yeah, and, that know. light bulb moment it's like, dang, so, I've been fighting this for years. And you know, everybody's simple. yeah, everybody's you know, well, it's so hard to serve God, it's so hard to walk with God, and on and on and on. Only if you make it that way. Yeah. You it's, know what I mean? It's uh, like how to eat an elephant, one bite at a time. Same, same, oh. same, same uh, principle, same logic there. You know, one bite at a time. Yes, Some sir. days you're going to fail. It's not, you know, it's, it, and that's okay. It's what you do afterwards. You pick yourself up and keep moving. We're all going to keep screwing up. We're going to keep, we're human beings. We're going to screw up probably as much as we do good. That's just, you know, some, sometimes it happens. But it's how you, you come back from that. It's how you deal with that. And it's what you do about it when you do wrong. And yeah. that's life in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's just real simple. You know, yeah. you wake up in the morning and say, Father, forgive me for what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Put, put the words in my face, the, you know, the words in my mouth, the people in my face you want me to talk to. Yeah. I, you know, it's all I can do today. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But yeah. anyway. We just, you know, like say, we appreciate you, Mike, you know what I mean? Anything, um, anytime. Uh, you know, you're always so gracious to us and stuff like that. And uh, like I say, we just want to make sure that everybody knows, you know, come on down. Everyone is welcome. Absolutely. Um, if, if we still need some uh, canned goods. And okay, so if you like take that. some more, if people like to bring some donations yeah, and things. Yeah, if, if people want to bring some stuff, uh, you know, some canned goods and stuff like that, we have a drop-off. There's just a table sitting out at 500 South Union. Okay. To set it out there on the table and stuff like that. And we'll uh, make sure it gets to people that need it yeah. or use it for the event uh, here on Thursday. Right, so. yeah. Yeah, if we don't use it, we'll, we'll you know, pass it out, stuff like that, you know. Um, There's a great network of people that really... You know, uh, you know, like you said, that donate and things that are, but, but there is, you know, obviously like our harvest ministries and we have some other great, uh, organizations that do a lot of community kitchen, things right. like that, but they all do a great job of, because they're all doing the same thing, helping people in need. They kind of work together, work in concert. So when, when you've got extra here, or, hey, we're going to give it to these guys or vice versa, you know, if they got extra here, they're going to help this one over here. That that's commonplace. So whatever you go and don't use an event, you'll make sure one of our other entities get get it right. to help others and, in need. You know, like Mark over at Harvest Ministry and and Brad at the uh, Community Kitchen. Mm-hmm. I was talking to them, and 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 I you know, I don't want to do what you guys do on a daily basis. That's a lot of work. You know what I mean? This yeah. is you know what I mean. It, it's just. It, 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 it's overwhelming. And, and Mark with the Roadrunner Food Banks, he's actually kind of the 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 southeast New Mexico connection for Roadrunner and all that. So yeah, he's the hub. so so yeah, yeah. he he yeah. you know so the the statewide stuff go through him for this area too. So mm-hmm. so yeah, he's he's got a lot of logistics to yeah. handle and do. And and Brad down there at the community kitchen, he just. You know, he just has a heart for God. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and they, they just quietly do their thing day in and day out. You yeah. know, people people know or people just realize it, but it's it's it, they just kind of quietly fly under the radar each and every day. Just volunteers regularly come in, which is awesome. They I think they get people that that just sign up regularly and they're constantly uh, serving meals at the community kitchen there, and and it, it just it, it just keeps working and going. It doesn't matter. When the storm Goliath, they just handle it, keep going, we'll do our thing, we'll figure it out. Um, it's it's an organization that I'm scared to think what this community would look like if we did not have it. Right. No, you know? you're exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. so this Thanksgiving, <laughs> Thursday, come on out to the courthouse lawn, eleven to two. Do you mind if I give your phone number if anybody has no, any no, questions, everything? No, get, yeah, they, if need, you'd like they to, need that number. To, to donate or volunteer or have any questions about anything on Thursday. Or uh, perhaps you, you, you know, maybe, hey, we've got our group. We'd like to add to them, uh, bring our add, potluck to the party. <laughs> add, yeah, bring bring what you got. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and, and like I said, if somebody wants to drop some stuff off at 500 South Union, uh, the Super Meat Super Market. Super Meat Mart, right there you know, on the by Lawrence Brothers, or not Lawrence Brothers, yeah, show my age. Yeah. Albert's. And stuff like that. <laughs> and the things that we're short on right now is like dinner rolls, stuff like that. Okay, you know so the, I mean? and, the breads and, and Yeah, and, and the, that can be dropped off at uh, Super Meat Market, or they can bring it to the courthouse lawn early, you know. Sure, uh, because that's, uh, you yeah. know, that's not something you need to put out to cook right. or, or uh, yeah. pull you know, warm up or anything. Yeah. You can just... And and if they can't get a hold of me, they can always call Pastor Jackie from the Dexter Cowboy Church at okay. that 420-6416 number. Okay. And then, of course, Pastor Jim's number is uh, 575-626-5358. Yes, sir. And, uh, and, and please, 
uh, come. We'd love to invite you. I don't care who you are, where you come from, how much money you got or don't got. Um, you're invited to come out uh, and be a part of our celebration here at Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're not taking up donations. We're not asking for offerings or anything else. We just want you to come and just be in the presence of God as much as we can present him. Absolutely. And, but, of course, if you want to bring things to give to others, we, we'll, sure. we'll definitely help you do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> and if you are in need, if you're in help, please reach out. Please come in. Um, this is what, what, what the gig does. They, they help people. They, they, through God, they help people. And, and, uh, and, and we, we, as much as we want to bring people to God as sometimes if, if people reach out that are in real help, real Mm -hmm. need of help, um, this is sometimes that event that brings that to the forefront and we, they're willing to come forward and get that event, that help that they need. So, um, uh, that's another part of I love these events is you always meet the one or two that that you're just like man uh, they finally reached out they can need help or they need something and they've been could have been years could have been just months that they they were yeah not ready to do that and yeah. uh, that moment happens usually it's like Thanksgiving or something something you know just the tilt the tide tilts the room right. you know right. you know and and so uh, I guarantee we'll have at least one of those on Thursday. Yeah, absolutely, positively, yeah. yeah. So anyway, but yeah, just give me a call at 626-5358 if you need uh, a dinner delivered or something. If you want to come and volunteer, um, we're going to need some people to do some uh, deliveries. Okay. Stuff like that. Or you call Pastor Jackie at 575-420-6416. If you got talker friends, you know, you got one that you can't shut up? Pardon? If you have friends that, that don't that love to talk, you can't, some, someone kind of like me that, that just keeps running their gums, they make great delivery people. Yeah, because at, 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 well, at, at, because sometimes, like you said, with shut-ins, you're not just serving a meal. Sometimes you're 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 their social human contact for that day, and, and so conversations, things like that. And the people who are delivering, mm-hmm. okay, I ask them, please, 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 when you give them that meal, pray with them. Yeah, absolutely. don't just give them the meal. Give them a prayer pray with them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Absolutely. That's, that, you know, uh, just a simple. You know, if it, it's amazing to me, Mike. Sometimes I'll just walk up to, and just. You know something? God's never going to love you more than he does this mm-hmm. day. And you'd be amazed at how many people will tell you, you don't have no idea how bad I needed to hear that today. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, the meal is kind of the window dressing to get you in the door. It's the love that comes with it. That's that's the real gift that you're giving. Yeah. So, so while everybody's walking around today, just walk up to somebody and say, Jesus loves you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, you'll get a couple people look it, at you weird, and the rest it, will be like, you know, thank you. <laughs> it, it don't cost you nothing. It doesn't. You know? And it could make an impact in someone's life. You just made someone's day. It, How many? It, just that one little thing, you know, do you know Jesus loves you? Yeah. It just, you Being know. Being nice to someone is the greatest gift someone does sometimes for people. It's free. It's free, <laughs> and you don't know how many people's days went from, you know, am I going to make it through this day to, you know what, maybe there is some 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 goodness left and i'm i'm going to yeah, just, that that kind of it lifted the spirit to get through today so all right sometimes that's all we need but pastors always appreciate it i'm sure you got a bunch of uh the, the logistics to handle at the moment so yeah. we'll let you get to it here and again folks come on out uh spend thanksgiving with uh with all with the community come on out to the chavez county courthouse lawn here downtown this uh thanksgiving thursday between 11 and 2 uh, and uh, come celebrate with us. Come if you'd like to volunteer. Come on out if you'd like to donate. We still got some needs. You can drop all that, all your donations, food things, either at uh, Super Meat Mart there on Second Street, or uh, you can contact Jim here direct and ask questions five seven five six two six fifty three fifty eight. If it's something that doesn't work in that scope and needs something right. else, he can he can tell you what to do there. So. Yes, sir, Mike. Thank you, sir. We, uh, we'll see you here, and, and uh, if I don't see you uh, between now and Thanksgiving, have a, a blessed Thanksgiving. Come on down. God bless you. Thank you, sir. All right, 751, let's uh, get you into news. And-